Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Proposals window lets you create a proposal of goods and or services for a customer. If the customer accepts the proposal, you can mark the proposal as accepted so that the items can be transferred to invoices as needed by using the Sales Invoicing window. Proposals also allow for progress or partial billing through multiple invoices in the Sales Invoicing window. To open the Proposals window, select Tasks, then Quotes, Sales Orders, Proposals, then Proposals from the menu bar. To create a new proposal, click the New button in the Windows toolbar if needed. Select the Customer ID of the customer for whom you are creating the proposal from the Customer ID drop-down. Then enter the Proposal Number, which is the proposal number assigned to the transaction. Enter the proposal's creation date and its complete by date. The billing address of the customer appears in the form. If the billing address is different from the shipping address, you can enter the shipping address here. The Accept Proposal checkbox is the checkbox you must check after a customer accepts the proposal so you can bill for the items in the proposal by using the Sales Invoicing window. The Close Proposal checkbox is used to manually close a proposal if needed. Otherwise, it will automatically check itself after all items from a proposal are shipped and invoiced. To specify a drop shipment, check the Drop Ship checkbox. Below that, the Customer PO, Ship Via, Terms, and Sales Rep for the selected customer's record appear. You can use the AR Account drop-down if shown to select which account the proposal debits when the items are shipped. Enter the information about the item sold into the Line Item area. The Quantity field shows how many of the items are ordered. The Item field shows the item ID of inventory items if used. The Description shows the item's associated description or lets you type a line item description if needed. The GL Account field if shown displays the associated income account affected by the sale of that line item. When ordering items not in inventory, it is the customer's default sales account, but can be changed if needed. You also need to check and or set the unit price, tax, and amount for each line item. The previous build amount field shows how much of the dollar value of each line item has been billed in previous invoices. Enter any necessary freight amount into the freight field and check the sales tax amount. The proposal's total appears in the proposal total field. The customer account information in the lower left corner shows the selected customer's balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. To save or print the proposal when finished, click the Save or Print buttons in the Windows toolbar. To mark a proposal as accepted by the customer, open the Proposals window and then click the List button in the Windows toolbar. In the Proposal list, double-click the Accepted Proposal to show it in the Proposals window. Click the Accept Proposal checkbox to accept the proposal. Click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the Proposals window to save it. Click the Close button in the toolbars of the Proposals and Proposal List windows to close them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.